Hey guys, it's Woody Mark here, coming with a brand new squad builder video, back with a hybrid squad builder, something interesting, few players I haven't used before, but without further ado, let's get into it. But we've got the up David De Gea in goal, like a pretty good goalkeeper to be perfectly honest, like very very solid, one of those players you can't actually buy on the market right now, lol, so yeah, Um, but you've got Carl Walker, right back, very good right back as you guys know. You've got Chris Smalling and Boateng. Boateng, one of the best centre-backs in the game, in my opinion. Chris Smalling, very good centre-back. Would advise and very under use. His inform is very good, actually. Like, would advise it. But Bernat as left-back, pretty good left-back. Was even better than the time I used him before. Very good option. But then you've got Jack Boots from Bastian Schweinsteiger. Both had good qualities, Good, both good on the ball. However, none of them really won anything in the air. Like, Bastian Schweinsteiger didn't really do much. I believe he scored one good goal. And apart from that, that was it, to be honest. But then you got Marion Goetzer at Cam, who was pretty good, to be honest. Like, very good on the ball. Maybe could have assisted one or two more. Would debate on that. But overall, he scored two goals, and that's all right for a Cam. So, I'll take that. But then you got... Sterling, I always said Sterling there, but yeah, he didn't score any assisted one, he was very good down that right hand side, but lacks that finishing touch, hence the 69 shooting. But then you got Andre Scher left, left wing, he's very good, but at times he needs a bit of space, and to be honest, he's always going to get you like 3-4 to four goals, in this case it was 1, but he'll never get you like 4-5 goals in those 5 games, for me anyway. But then you have got Sturridge up front, who was a lot better the last time I used him. However, I would say lots of people really like him. However, because of his two-star weak foot, at times I'm like, uh, I he like makes you have to adjust to his style because of that two-star weak foot, which I don't like to do. But if you know how to use him, he's very good. But yeah, that is the team now. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll go into goals and review part at the end. <laughs> Now that you've seen the goals, we are into the main review part of the video, and this side costs 57,000 coins. If you haven't got any first owners, obviously I calculated the prices of the Dea, uh, the Dea, the Dea, um, Jack Wiltshire and Sturridge, and there for you guys, so yeah. Had a record of three wins, one draw and one loss. It was a pretty good side. The last loss was to a very good team, which I couldn't do much against to be fair, so fair enough, but... 
yeah, scored 10 goals. Would have liked to get more goals in, like Schürrle could have got more and Sterling could have got more. Even Sturridge game one or two more would have been useful because I usually say around the 15 marks good, but 10 isn't really good enough. But we've only conceding five goals and one of the games um, I conceded two in the sense the one that I lost. So yeah, the defence did pretty well in my opinion. Best player was Jerome Boateng. He's a very solid centre back. I could have said De Gea. I could have said, well, I guess Walker you don't really notice, which is good. Maybe I could have said Sturridge, but I didn't think so. Worst player was Bastian Schweinsteiger. To be honest, I didn't even have to think about it. Jack Wiltshire assisted free, so it's always going to be um, Schweinsteiger. Top goal scorer was Sturridge, as you've seen. And yeah, no rage wits, but I rate this team a 75 out of 100, as it, it was pretty good, but there's still definite room for improvement. But yeah, if you have enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and say, well, because I'm going to subscribe if you want to see more. It's been Woody Mark Mafia. See you guys.